Hey, what is going on, people? Hope you guys are all having a great day. Osric here, and I'm playing a match here on Bakara, Bakara, whatever you want to call it, and I'm using my MP7 submachine gun. I know you guys uh, aren't a big fan of my LMG camping videos, but hey, guess what? Some people do like it, and I actually like using the LMGs that way, so you will see those kind of videos in the future. But you'll also see more matches like this and a little more Russian style matches. I I'd like to upload a little bit of everything. As you guys know, when I play this game, I don't always play the same. I always like to mix it up and change up strategies. But uh, you see right here, uh, this MP7 is a beast gun. I like to actually use it on maps that have a lot of long, long lines of sight, and where I need to be, uh, when I need to, when I need to be in situations where I'm, I'm very mobile. Like if I need to attack an objective, if my team's losing, um, and I need to run back and forth really fast. Sometimes I'll put this on on this map. And this way I can counter people from far away, and I can also handle those people that like to run up close to me. If you notice the match is a little bit laggy, that's because I pulled this out of theater mode. This was uh, one of the matches I got when I was leveling up the MP7, and I completely forgot I had this thing saved. So I went and checked, and it was in there. I was like, oh yeah, I meant to upload this a while back, so I'm getting it out to you guys now. But I'm using my big, big boy kill streaks, which is the Reaper, the Pavlo, and the Osprey Gunner. I absolutely love the Osprey Gunner. It's one of my favorite kill streaks to use, even though I don't always put it together. Um, you know, it's a challenge for me just to actually put together the kill streaks. I have more fun using the kill streaks than I do the specialist package. Although, when you get that Moab with the specialist package, that feels really, really good. There's nothing. There's not a better feeling on Call of Duty than just smashing a bunch of noobs and completely, completely destroying them. And when you call in something that's, you know, like like the Moab where it's just devastating for the other team they get EMP they all die <laughs> and you're just destroying them for 24 25 kills I absolutely love it so I end up getting my Reaper right here you saw me put that together so I'm gonna fast forward through this look at this double kill man just smashing these guys get off me son Pavlo let's go and I think I get shot down here in a second or maybe not <laughs> there you go. Finally get shot down calling that pave low. One off the Osprey at this point. But I wanted to ask you guys, what do you guys think of that new DLC map pack that's coming out? I'm going to put an annotation up for you guys and go ahead and check the links in the description uh, for the video that Call of Duty had put out regarding the um, two of their new maps they got coming out. One is Liberation, one is Piazza. One is set in like the like a New York area, like a park type thing. And another one is set in Italy where there's a lot of flank routes. Um, apparently this one that's out in the park in New York is supposedly going to be a real sniper friendly map. It's going to be one of those camping maps. Camping maps. I mean, hell, even in the interview the guy says if you want to be successful on this map, um, do less running gun <laughs> and hold down positions and stuff like that. So pretty much what he's telling you there is be prepared to have a camper's map, um, which is not a big deal for me. I, I can always throw on a sniper. I can always put on my my long range assault rifles and I can always do work. You know, that fits perfect into what I and what I'm comfortable doing. Kinda like one of those maps on Black Black Ops in the DLC. What was that one that was on the golf course? It's been a while since I played Black Ops, I forgot. So if you know the name of that, go ahead and leave me a comment, let me know. Um, also, the the Italy type map is apparently a run and gun map. They're gonna have a lot of uh, I'm assuming a lot of flank points to every position there. I don't I'm not even sure I've only seen screenshots. They haven't released any any footage of it, but um, I'm assuming that there's not going to be very many camping positions. I think what they try to do with the map pack is they try to make something for everybody, because everybody was complaining, oh, these maps, this is a campers maps, this is a campers game, um, and people actually like playing defensively. So I think they put in, you know, something for the snipers and the defensive guys, and then they also didn't want to discourage all the rushers and the submachine gun, shotgun guys out there. So they're like, hey, why not put in a a map where people can get up in your face and almost all the engagements are going to be right there close quarters so um you know i don't know if they're coming out with more than two maps you know i'm, I'm not too familiar <laughs> with what they got going on but look at this little host migration go ahead and start that back up let me get this free kill give me that pave low son but yeah i honestly don't know what they're gonna have going on with the dlcs um i haven't even subscribed to elite yet and by the way um if you guys don't know 12 days from now on January 24th is when the maps come out for elite users only and I'm not even sure if it's going to be for Xbox only you guys wonder why I switched over to Xbox well it's stuff like this Xbox gets priority in Call of Duty guys 
You guys know this. You know, they get the better development. They get the, the map pack sooner. And uh, for someone like me that's, you know, doing this little YouTube thing and having fun with this, I need that. But hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Hopefully I didn't forget anything that I wanted to talk about. <laughs> I kind of went on a rant. Final score, 48-2. Peace.